quiet on the set, roll tape, bring up audio, cue talent, in five, four, three, two, one. Students and advisors, pre-registration starts on Halloween. You can view the spring 2012 schedule on WebAdvisor. I'm Nicholas Finch. And I'm Hannah Riley. Any college campus can seem spooky at night, but what's up with the stories about ghosts that haunt the UWA campus? That story is coming up, but first. The Sumter County Fine Arts Council will host the Montgomery Ballet in Bill Graves Auditorium on Tuesday night at 7.30. Prior to the ballet, the university will host the annual freshman dinner in the Bell Conference Center for students who are currently enrolled in freshman seminar courses. So are we really surrounded by ghosts? Edie Caver is with author and ghost lore expert Dr. Alan Brown with more on the story. With Halloween approaching, UWA has a few ghostly events planned, one of which is Dr. Alan Brown's annual ghost walk. But first, he will do a book signing of his two new books on ghosts. Okay. Uh, I'm Alan Brown. I'm a professor of English here. And I have two books that are coming out this year. One is Ghosts Along the Missis Mississippi River, and the other is Haunted Meridian. I'll be signing them at the Moon House, 6 p.m., Wednesday, October 26th. Uh, 7.30, the same night, we will be eating outside of the Moon House, probably in the front yard. And uh, that's where the ghost walk will begin. We will head toward the downtown area, uh, pass through the historic section of Livingston, and then we'll head back to campus. Dress warmly, wear comfortable shoes, bring a flashlight, um, because one of the roads we're going to be walking on is, is filled with potholes. Uh, and uh, bring a camera too, bring a digital camera because sometimes people get orbs on these walks. Um, show up for the book signing and I uh, hope I see you at the ghost walk too. Now, back to our anchors. Spooky. Thank you, Edie. If you think broadcast journalists are lazy, you wouldn't want to get in a rundown with our news team. Weather girl Paulina Babkina is the newly crowned Gulf South Conference Women's Cross Country Champion. And the runner-up, only 14 seconds behind, is our field reporter, Carolyn Mancuso. Both men's and women's team placed third in the GSC, which is the best place in school history. Soldiers in the 31st Chemical Brigade of the Alabama National Guard recently visited Fort Tom Beckby to learn about how soldiers fought battles in 1800s. Then, French military were stationed at Fort Tom Beckby, which is located in Sumter County and owned by UWA. They use techniques that are still used today, such as making friends and trading with locals. These techniques help ensure the safety of soldiers. Are you capable of cooking up a little international flavor? Registration is due Tuesday for the International Chili Cook-Off hosted by the Office of International Programs. Teams of five to seven students will cook up chili and international desserts for judging. Teams must consist of both national and American UWA students. For more information, contact Mary Pagliaro at extension 3765. If you missed last week's production of Picasso at the La Pana Gil, you missed a student favorite. The first part of this year's play productions featured a conversation between Albert Einstein and Pablo Picasso about the meaning of art, science, and good wine. And a man who could be, you know, accused of being Elvis Presley was also in the building as a special visitor who helped speed in the 20th century. The event was held in the Hunt Annex and concluded Saturday night. We hope you have a lot of red in your closet. Tiger fans are asked to red out the football, soccer, and volleyball events this week. Notably, Tiger football will play North Alabama on Thursday night for the live televised GSC game of the week. The event could mark the final home matchup of the two rivals as North Alabama has petitioned to switch to Division I. To plan your wardrobe for the 7 o'clock kickoff, now to Paulina with our weekly forecast. We will have beautiful weather the first half of this week, with highs in the low 80s. But 
A cold front is expected to move in on Thursday and could cause a stormy football game against North Alabama that night. Temperatures will also drop 20 degrees by Friday. Back to you, Nick and Hannah. Thanks, Paulina. Join us on Thursday as we red out Tiger Stadium in our winter gear and red umbrellas. We will see you back next week for another Tiger Pause. Have a great week, everybody.